Hey folks, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually program a repeater into the Quansheng UVK5. Now, there might be a couple of reasons that you'd want to do this. Firstly, you may have just bought the radio and you've yet to receive the data cable. And secondly, you might be out with the radio portable and you might want to save a repeater while out on the fly. One thing that I do want to make you aware of, as you will see here that I've named my memory channels, you're not actually going to be able to do that from the radio, from manually programming it. You are going to need the programming software and the programming cable. So that's just something to bear in mind. So having said that, let's get straight on with the video. The repeater that I'm going to program in is a local one to me, which is GB3BR. Now, I will put all the details up on the screen so you can follow along. Now, we need to make sure we are in VFO mode because at the moment we're in memory recall. So to switch between the two, you press the function key, which is at the bottom right, and key number three. So function three switches between the two. We do that, and now we're in VFO mode, ready to go. Now, GB3BR has a receive frequency of 430.8125. Now, if you can't quite get to the frequency that you require, you just need to change the step on the radio. And you do so by pressing the menu key, and going into the menu, and going to item number two on the list, as you'll see there. Press menu key again to go in, and press the up and down key here to switch between the different steps. I've got mine set to 6.25 kilohertz, but you can set yours accordingly. And to confirm, you press the menu key again, and then you can back out using the exit key down here. Now we need to go ahead and program in the offset. Now, in this case, we need plus 7.6 megahertz. So we do that by going back into the menu with the menu key, scroll down to item number nine, which is the offset. We go in there using menu again, and we change this by typing in the frequency we need. So it's 007.6, zero zero confirm using the menu key now go back up one in the menu list to shift direction and we change that by going in there with menu key and using the up and down arrow to change between plus and minus in our case we need plus confirm with the menu key and now we can back out to vfo mode and you'll see now that we have our direction set and our receive frequency in the VFO mode ready to go. To open this repeater, it requires an 88.5 hertz CTCSS tone. Otherwise, it's not going to open. So we do that by pressing the menu key. And we scroll down until you come to T underscore CTCS. Press menu. And using the up and down arrow, we change this. Again, according to your repeater you want to program, you can change this. But in our case, we need 88.5. Confirm using the menu key. And now we're safe to back out. If your repeater requires a DCS tone, you can transmit a DCS tone from there. And these are your receive tones in the menu. But we can go back now to VFO mode. 
One more thing that you may have to change is your mode on FM, narrow and wide. Now, this repeater requires narrow mode, so we do that by going into menu and scroll down past your codes and offset until you come to W slash N. Go in there and you can actually change this between narrow and wide FM. So this repeater requires narrow, so we again confirm and then that is pretty much it. We can now back out to the main screen. So that is the repeater all ready to go and be stored. Now the last thing to do is save it to memory and we do that by pressing the menu key and we scroll down until you come to item number 13, memory channel. We press menu and using the up and down key, we can switch between where you would like to save it. Now on this radio, I've got things programmed into the previous 30 channels. So we go to number 31, which is the next free one. So I will go ahead and confirm using the menu key. Are you sure? Yes. Menu again. And on channel 31 should be the repeater we just programmed in. As I've yet to name this channel, I would like to see what the frequency is that I'm going to be keying up on. So to do that, you can change that by going into menu and going down to item number 23, which is MDF. Press menu again. Using the up and down key, you can change this between frequency, channel, or name. So I'm going to put it on frequency, confirm using the menu key again. And now we can back out and see what we've actually programmed into that memory slot. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little test and see if we can actually open the repeater. If successful, we should hear something back. So I'm going to go ahead and try it now. M7 MMC checking access on GB3BR. And there we have it. It's working. And that is it for this video. Now I do hope that it's going to be of some help to you. And if it has, please do consider dropping a like below. The other option is there too. I don't mind. And if you are new to the channel, please do consider dropping a sub because I very much appreciate it. So having said that, I'm going to wish you all the best 7-3, stay safe, and I will catch you in the next video.